Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Okay, guys, we're going to be showing you something I like to call digital hell. That's right, digital hell, a place where nobody wants to be, a place where you want to get out of, and hopefully find heaven. Uh, and this place is definitely the definition of a digital hell. Now, what I'm talking about specifically is this stage. If you guys can see, I have been doing this for quite some time, uh, and it is absolutely ballistically mayhem so you guys know that igris is a tough fight but once you finish igris there's something else that gets a little bit tougher and not, not a lot of people talk about it and that's the stage right before you get your shadow monarch job right everybody knows that stage right so two boss a three four four boss one uh that you have to fight the two mini bosses and then the shadow guy and then his giant ass golem robot looking thing when you do it on normal it's tough enough okay i'm about to introduce you guys to the hardest stage so far that I've done, okay? Now, I know a lot of you guys currently are stuck on hard mode Igris. Uh, it, it's a it's a hell of a, a check in terms of DPS. I actually finished it with about 0.2 seconds remaining, and it does require you to have light weapons, which are, in my opinion, a lot more difficult to get than dark weapons because, of course, you get the scythe at, uh, for free for two stars, and then most of you guys who are at this point are probably whales. Free to play are never going to get to this point for quite some time, or at least are not going to get to this point for some time. Um, so the, the the birth of a new monarch, this is what I'm referring to right here, the back to the grind. Now, I'm going to show you guys this fight and how chaotic it is, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a complaint. I actually, as a matter of fact, love this. I love the fact that this is such a challenging fight. Uh, use a shield that grants a... a, a this, so this boss is the one I'm referring to. Let me move my face here. Um, so the, whatever, the dark, dark mage boss here, he actually grants a shield. And then he goes ballistic and starts doing insane things, right? So... He's not only the problem, it's the golem that he summons with him, including the rest of the ads, okay? So here's the team that I'm running with. I've got Biak, I've got Choi, and I've got uh, Min. I'm running two light weapons. You guys can see it's the, bow, it's the bow and arrow, and it's the huntsman, and I've got, of course, my shadows, right? So let me uh, let me just quickly jump into this. Like I'm a little bit lower in power, like about what, 5K. Not a big deal, realistically, at the end of the day, but it's not a matter of time. actually kind of is. I'm, I'm a little bit shy of DPS, but I know I can do it if I'm just you know, optimize all my skills. It's the crazy amount of damage they do. Now, you have to understand from a um, Sung Jin Wu perspective, I'm not running the Revival Stone because when you start doing hard mode at these stages, every bit of DPS matters way too much. So you can see here, I have uh, the Pulverize move on. I'm gonna take that off because I'm gonna need some more, I'm gonna need some more damage on here, okay? So I'm gonna put double S sword instead, which is gonna increase my damage even further. So hopefully that'll help mitigate some of the damage, not mitigate, sorry, so that'll help me alleviate some of the damage issues that I'm having with time. And then all it becomes is a fight to the finish with their damage on me, okay? So watch what happens, okay? First off, you guys know this fight already, okay? This part's easy. What ends up happening here is the guys start summoning thunderbolts everywhere. The whole ground nonstop becomes thunderbolts. And you guys know your favorite mechanic in this game, right? The the tornado, well yeah, that, that ends up showing up very soon as well too. So there's quite a bit going on here with this fight and you've gotta be on your toes almost the entire time or else it's going to be KO very, very quickly. Now you finish this first boss and you're about to face the second boss, uh, which is the same version of this one, just another copy of him, right? And then from there, you move on to the final round, which is fighting the, the, the mage and stuff like that. So uh, right away, I can tell I'm not doing as well as I normally am. So I'm going to restart this. Let me retry. The problem with this, because of, like I mentioned, the chaoticness that's happening, the chaos that's going on here, chaoticness, it's not even a word, the chaos that's happening around here, the issue is all the extra ads kind of take your attention away from him. So you always got to stay locked on. If you're not locked on, it's a lot of issues in terms of just targeting the right boss or targeting the boss rather than the ads. And you want to kill a boss as quick as you possibly can because you want to be able to move on and start targeting the next boss quickly, right? It's again, it is a time situation, it is time sensitive. So keep that in mind. Look at this, look, look, at all the, look at all the red dots everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Save your ultimate. So what I end up doing here is I save my ultimate for the next boss that comes out. He should be coming very shortly. There he is. Uh, so get before you move on and, and fight him, make sure you are shadow stepping first. And then you go ahead and do your ultimate, okay? So there's the shadow step, ultimate. You should be killing off almost everybody here. Now, the second time I do the ultimate, it's going to be on the last boss. And you want to hope that your ultimate there can finish him off. Now, this is going to still be a very, very tough fight, even with most of these guys dead, because of the amount of nonsense going on on the screen. Look at this. Just, just you know, it's just nonstop AOE stuff. So you're going to need to stay on your game here, guys. Okay, so let's finish this guy off quick. Hopefully we can. Hopefully this does it, because this the, uh, once the mages die, then then the last boss pops. Okay, here we go. 
So now we have the last boss coming. Now you're gonna see a tornado. There it is, right there, right? So it's and then you got the portals coming. Holy shite, man. Excuse my language. Um, and you guys can see here, look how much damage I'm just taking, just standing in one spot, right? So you've got to move a little bit here and don't let it all take you out. Uh, look at that. Damage, damage, damage. Like nonstop. Um, so I got to summon Min here in order to get some HP back. So get your shadows out. They do help a little bit to take away from some of the stress that's going on. But right now, it ends up becoming two major bosses just wailing at you the whole time. Right? Try to now. Here's the thing: you have to shadow step. If you don't shadow step, you're in trouble. Right? So, did we actually kill the guy? Oh my god! I think we might have actually killed him. I've never killed the golem this quick. So this is new. We might actually have a chance here. Don't let me jinx it. Okay, one sec, guys. There we go. Shadow step that. Good. Do a stun. You want to make sure you get this off ASAP. Okay. So, while he has. I can't believe I killed him. That's literally the first time I've actually killed the golem that quick. So this is this is new. I might actually stand a chance. I have not been able to finish the stage, if you guys can't tell. So this is very exciting for me. Let's just not mess it up, right? You guys can see, even, even with the golem gone, though, like, look at how much time I have left. Like, not much, really. If you look at, like... And running out of mana, of course, is a problem. So keep that in mind. And you can't break these guys, so... That in itself is an issue. So you have, like, you literally, guys, you have to shadow step. If you don't take the guy's defense down, he, he's not going to die. Like, you have to make sure you do that. And the bow and arrow is so powerful here, so make sure you have it equipped on you as well, okay? We're still crunch time here, guys. There we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, baby. Oh, my God. Whew. That was literally, I'm glad I streamed this because that was the first time I actually beat this and it was very, very, very hard. Uh, so there you guys go. That is what I call digital hell. Now that we've completed this one, we've got ourselves the job perks completion as well. This doesn't obviously do anything. It just gives us some gems. Um, but just so you guys are aware, this is how difficult things are going to get. Now, this is not a bad thing, right? Because at the end of the day, this is still early access. You want content to be able to tackle when the game goes global and further on. Like if you finish the whole thing already, You'd be twiddling your thumbs doing nothing anyways, right? So this is very, very important, guys. That we have the ability to do these kind of challenges. And quite honestly, I know I know a lot of people are going to be like, paying this is psychotic. Why why would you put yourself through this? To be quite honest, like I, I love this. This is, this is why I game. I game because of these exact reasons. I want to be able to challenge myself in a game where you know things are difficult and, and not meant to be easy. So I'm very, very excited, guys, to see how much further we can go here in this game. And how much more this game has to offer in regards to uh, damage and regards to stages. There's just so much depth to this game, and I'm I'm being serious when I say that. It really does feel like I'm playing Diablo, like, and, and that's a good thing. That's a really really good thing because at the end of the day, I want to feel like I'm really playing a MMORPG or ARPG, which is exactly what this is. So I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, there it is, completed. I'm on stage. Uh, what am I now? Stage ten, I believe. Right, I think it's stage ten. Let me go back. So now we're getting more, it's more, it's more and more difficult now. So yeah, there we go, chapter 10, sorry. Um, so we're going to keep going here. You guys can see 58 is going to be the next big push. Once I complete that, we'll be going over to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and hopefully one day complete this, but I think we're pretty far away from that. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.